Get back here! You're not even hidden! Have you got it? I've been trying, Trevor. I've been trying. Come on over here, all right? I ain't gonna hit you. I've been trying. I know, I know. <laughs> I thought you said you wasn't gonna hit me. I thought you said you were gonna find fucking Michael Townley. There's two Michael Townleys living in L.S. One is 83, and the other one is at kindergarten. I asked the teacher to put him on the phone just to be safe, but she threatened to call the cops. I ain't no molester, Trevor. Shut up ask... before I molest you, all right? Now, is there anything else? I, I look through the phone directory. I did find a, a Michael DeSanta, about the right age, married with two kids. What's his wife's name? Amanda? Amanda? Yeah. You're a genius, you moron. Come on, uh, come here. Uh, Woo! Uh, uh, don't you ever not tell me things <laughs> I want to know! Sorry, Trevor. Run, you little bastard! Get out here! We're going to Los Santos! Are we? Not you, me and Wade. What about me? You're CEO of Trevor Phillips Enterprises. Find us some business so that we can make some money. And tidy my shit up. Let's go, wait, come on. I'm driving. You can jerk me off if I get bored. I'm joking. You can suck me off. Are we gonna stop for ice cream? Um, so, so we're headed to Los Santos then? Soon. I gotta make a stop. Oh, what's your stop? Ice cream? Yo, I'm not driving that. Come on. Come on, noob. We got places to go on people to see. Where are your people at in Los Santos? It's just my cousin there, Floyd. He bumped in with his girlfriend in some place called Vespucci Beach. So, uh, what's your stop? Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. We gotta pay this cousin a visit. I ain't seen him in a while, Trevor. All the more reason to drop by. Okay, um, that might be nice, but where are we stopping on the way? Because, you know, I'm getting kind of wet over here. For fuck's sakes, another chapter of the lost has descended on this fine town. Looking to mourn and maybe revenge their dead. I was thinking me and you could pay our respects. Trevor. I, I, I don't think we'd be welcome there. I mean, what do you want to, well, send them on their way to begin with? This is nice. Well, it's not nice getting wet up in like this, but it's nice how they got the weather just changed. Like, oh, look at that. Oh, man, Rockstar really out there. Damn, Ooh, I got some fond memories of this place. I got you them bombs and that pistol with the thing that makes you quiet on it. Yeah, I took them. Those are my gifts for these pricks. Sit tight, little buddy. I'll try not to get killed. So we about to blow up the trailer park? <laughs> gonna be beautiful if we do it right. Somebody's leaving. 
We're gonna have to do this stuff. We can't go in this one loud and proud. We gotta do this one real stealth like. Okay, let's put this other one over here. I just almost got a coat. Number two is down. The only guys out here are pros of the Lost Motorcycle Club. Hey, Brothers on my head. You are morally obligated to bang the shit out of them. Let them go. Let him go by. Yeah, you gonna go go in. You gonna go in here? Look how creepy this dude is! Ain't no one dumb enough to come out here with these travel routes ready to give them hell. Do you really? Yeah. You didn't hear that. Just me? <laughs> I'm the only one that's here. Look, look how they live in they got this stuff outside and they get wet by Oh. That guy might see that body. See if we can creep around. It's raining pretty old. Did somebody see me? He didn't see me, did he? Nah, he didn't see me. Creep around the back. You do not see me. You guys don't see me. It's raining. You're not paying attention. Yeah, I'm, I'm just running. <laughs> Don't hear any gunshots, so they must not. Oh, right back here. Yeah, I'm just running. Good thing I got a silence on this too. Shut up. Don't get back up. Gotta take him down quick. What the hell? He ain't gonna do us again. Pussies! Every one of you! Of, co of course they are, because they can't deal with their. Oh, what you, th what you think you're doing? Sweet fucking revenge! Gotta bring out the big gun. It's too many. Too many. You gotta take them down quick. You're worse than the last bunch of cocks. Get out of town, you assholes. Guys, you you tried the wrong one. Don't ever in your life try me again. I don't even remember shooting that guy. He just looks like he's he's just drunk or something. Just. Out in the ring. Last one that got a set. To trigger the sticky bombs, hold that button. But let's get out of here first. I wonder you guys got a motorcycle around here somewhere. Or do I gotta run? Oh, that's the nice truck. What a nice truck to be in the country, you know. Let's get back to my guy. You know what? We don't want to be out in the rain. Where's my guy at? 
No, I mean, he probably didn't even move. We came in from this way, right? Maybe not. Which way did I come in? Okay, I think, yeah, I came in. Nah, I'm just... <laughs> Oh, is this one way in and one way out? Good Lord above. So I, I did come in. I had to come in this way, but where's my... Why I didn't see my truck? It doesn't matter. Destroying whole cities. Wade was right. How did I not see that truck? How did I not see it? <laughs> now that that's over, let's get out of town. Lost freaking Santos. Hurry up, Wade. That go okay? I heard back of banging and screaming, but then not, not the nice kind. Yeah, it went good, Wade. We don't have to think about the loss no more. Let's go find my old buddy. This Michael Townley guy must have pissed you off real bad for you to want to find him so much. He didn't piss me off. The guys that killed him? The federal government. They pissed me off. But if he's dead, who's this? Now you're starting to grasp the pertinent questions. Who is this guy using my dead friend's tired-ass movie quotes? With my dead friend's alias? And my dead friend's family? In a house that must have been... In a house that must have been paid for with my dead friend's stashed millions? Wow, that's a real mind fuck. Yeah, I'll show you a fucking mind fuck. I'm gonna stick my boy in your eye, it's gonna come out of your ear, huh? I, I, I didn't mean anything by that, T. Trevor? Lube up your eye hole, fucker, cause I'm gonna fuck your tiny mind, huh? I'm about ready to turn you into roadkill. Uh, please, don't turn me into anything. I just want to be Wade. Why are we they... nearly there yet? No, Wade. Are we nearly, nearly there? You keep this up, you're not gonna get there at all. Can you tell me a story? No, Wade. Let's play a game then. You know animal, mineral, or vegetable? I'll go first. I'm nanotechnology. Uh, you're what? Ooh, damn it. I gave it away. I wasn't... I wasn't supposed to say what I am. I'll start again. Animal, vegetable, or mineral. Hey, 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 how about this? I'll tell you a story if you promise never to speak again. I like stories. Of course you do. This story's about a boy called Tr Tr uh, Trisha. Is Trisha a boy's name? It doesn't matter. Sounds weird. He was weird. He was the smartest, toughest, weirdest kid in Canada. Well, in the Canadian border region of America. Okay. This boy, he had all the talent, charisma, and guile that a boy could have. But he didn't know what to do with it. He should become a baseball player. No, he shouldn't. Because he's not a fucking sellout idiot. Or hockey player. He did for a while. But his coach accidentally had a stick jammed up his ass. What could he do? I'll tell you in a second, okay? Just let me concentrate on the road. But Trevor! Hey! Aww. That's a weird sounding story right there. I wonder if Trevor was talking about his life. Or was he talking about, you know, Michael's life? But I... Right there! Los Santos! The end of the fucking earth! This is the place! I seen it on the holiday card. So, this is Los Santos. I guess it is. I always wanted to come here. But you got stuck in the desert? It's still San Andreas. Best part of the state. Oh man, so he's never been out of San Andreas. That's crazy. You know what, I wouldn't mind snatching up this car. You know what? Why not? 
Michael's not gonna be expecting us to pull up in something like this. I totally oh. And you know what? We keeping this too. We keeping this. Hurry up, get in the car, move. Hurry up. Nice. Woo. You want me to drive? Guess I gotta take a look at the view. Take a look at the view of the city. So, Michael. This is where dead men come back to life. It's been nearly ten years. But you'll keep for another day or so, huh, old friend? You motherfucking fuck! I grieved for you! You weren't even fucking dead. You were my best friend. Well, guess who's coming to shit on your doorstep, you fuck! Los Santos, the city of shitheads. Where else would he be? It's Vespucci Beach where he's staying. Will you tell me the story about that boy, Trisha? Ah, yeah, yeah. Where were we? You were saying what he could do. He, he couldn't throw, and his coach had a had a stick accident like like I had once. Right, right. But he could fly planes, this kid. So he signed up to the Air Force to fly all day long and bomb villages and maybe just maybe drop the nuke. And it was all going well until one day, just before he got his wings, an evil witch in charge of psychological evaluations told him he was unstable. Grounded him for life. That's terrible. It was. Sent him to a deep pit of doubt and despair. And just then, ju just as he hit rock bottom, he met a fat, silver-tongued troll under a bridge. That's cool. What was the troll's name? Mike. Mich Michelle. A lady troll? Yeah, he had tits like one, but no, no, he, he was a boy. Michelle is a funny name for a boy. Well, this was a funny boy. He sat under his bridge, robbing anyone who passed him by. Sometimes, He'd go into town and rob his shops and inns and such. And he persuaded our hero that maybe he should rob people too. And you know what? Little Trisha did rob people. And little Trisha was good at it. And they lived happily ever after? For a while. Until the troll met another troll in a strip club. And they fell in lust. And he bought her a pair of fake troll tits. Even bigger than his real troll tits. So she could make more money stripping. Maybe a little on the side without call work. But you didn't hear that from me. Wow. And then she pushed out a pair of little trolls. And the big bad troll under the bridge went soft. Hold on, what? Oh. Oh, we're near Floyd's house. I've seen it on iPhone maps. I'll give you directions. You don't turn here. Now keep going. So, now here's like a right. Go straight on here. Come on, noob. <laughs> I'm trying to drive and I'm trying to listen to this guy. Guess I gotta park right up on the hill, so. Cousin Floyd! Come up here, Trevor! I don't see why not. Floyd, it's me, Wade! Who? Me, Wade, your cousin! Who? Your cousin! Fuck! He's come to visit you, you rude fuck! Now get up off the floor and fix me a fucking drink! Oh, you, Wade! <laughs> I heard you was off smoking meth somewhere. No, not somewhere here! He's gonna smoke meth here! Give me a fucking lighter! You can't smoke here! Okay. <laughs> this is my girlfriend's place. She's at a business conference. You can't smoke here and you can't stay here. How's it going, cousin? It's been a while. 
Yeah, I ain't seen you since you was caught in Evelyn's bed. A guy we've never proved. You gotta go, both of you. My girlfriend, she'd kill me if she knew I had guests. Well, it's not much of a girlfriend if she don't like your family. Now, would you get me a fucking drink? I'm not gonna ask you again. Oh, yeah, okay. Wait, uh, I ain't got no booze. Well, then you go out and fucking get me something. You go, too. Man, Trevor be running things, man. It don't matter where it is, who it is. Trevor be running things, man. 